The refugee crisis was just starting in 2015. There was an estimate of a million and a half refugees arriving in Germany. This amount gave rise to the far right across Europe. It's being made difficult for certain refugees to come here or to stay. I'm Jill Halton, Al Jazeera's Berlin cameraman, and between us, the refugee crisis has moved me emotionally more than anything else in my career. Most refugees that we've met covering this story were fleeing the war in Syria. The numbers of dead people drowning in the Mediterranean would rise day by day. It was quite an emotional ride for all of us as a team to see families, children, babies having to go through these stages of fleeing, being endangered all the time. At that point, my first daughter was just born and it was quite emotional for me to cover because you compare it obviously to your own child when you see a newborn with their parents having to do that journey. It had a very strong effect on me. It's touching me now, I mean... <laughs> These refugees have to accept every risk to go to wherever they want to go. They jump on trains, they get underneath trucks. There was this one story that we covered where they would find this truck with people caged in it. It was summer, it was 40 degrees outside, and these people suffocated inside that truck. And it was left on the side of the road until it was found by the police covering that story. It's not something you see every day, being confronted with the smell of dead people. You're often confronted with people that have not understood what these people have been going through. The toughest for me was to film members of the AFD because you can tell that they're very, very manipulative, that they are quite aware what they're telling you is not the reality, but it's what they want the viewers to believe. There was a certain mindset these far-right groups played on. It's fear, playing on the fears of people, telling them that we will lose our culture or we'd be overrun by refugees. Fear of losing their job because a refugee might come and do that job for them. That's exactly what these groups want. They want them to be in fear of these people. That strong right-wing anti-refugee sentiment unfortunately spread much further into the whole of Germany. We've covered stories where people that came from Afghanistan would have a job here, they would be well educated, they would learn the German language quickly, yet still Germany would deport them back to Afghanistan even though these people would be a clear gain towards German society. When people are trying everything to find their way in a new country, learning the language, culture and trying to be integrated, it's very sad that they don't get a chance. There's a strong movement by the far right to discredit the media by pushing the word Lügenpresse here in Germany. I started filming privately, kind of behind the scenes vlogs about what we actually do as a news crew. When we do a report, I try to kind of find an angle on what makes the story interesting. I thought maybe giving an insight on how news outlets cover news incidents could try to counter those accusations. As a cameraman, your goal always needs to be to tell the story in the most sensible and uh, touching way so that we can somehow get the viewer to get a short insight of what's happening to somehow confront them with a reality that might not be their own to then have them rethink and question their own positions 